Hi, and welcome to part 3 of this GeoNordic tutorial. As I promised, it will be a short video, which just add the sunlight to our setup. I cleaned the notary a little bit. Like I added the toggle for the diffuse pass. For the lights, I disconnected the object info node, and I added an object input, so we can select our lights easily from here, and no need for those. Inside here is the object input. Basically, I just moved the object info inside. For the calculations, I grouped power, fall off, and color together. This is the power. For the fall off, if you remember, we did the distance square. We added the smooth. When we divide the power by this value, we get the quadratic fall off. We multiply again by the distance, and that's the linear fall off. That's the switch to select between quadratic and linear, and we mix by the with the color. The diffuse is just the dot product capped between zero and one. We mix what was previously calculated. This is the shadow calculation. More details in the previous video. That's the switch for our shadow. If we detect a shadow, we force at zero. If not, we take what was previously calculated. This is the selector if the light cast shadows or not. Now let's copy one of these and turn it into sunlight. We rename this sunlight. It does point light. Let's have it mix ready. Let's switch this window to cycles. Maybe this one to flat like we did before. Let's get the blender sunlight and have it selected here. Now we'll kill the other lights. Match the sunlight color. Now let's hop, hop inside this node group and see what's going to change. So what's the sunlight? A sunlight is a light that only have a direction and its position doesn't matter. So if you look at the cycle render here, its position doesn't change anything, only its rotation. The opposite of the point light where its rotation doesn't do anything, but only its position matters. So, because its position doesn't change anything, it doesn't have a falloff. So, let's start by taking the falloff out of the formula. So, we'll mix the power directly with the color and get rid of those nodes. We use the distance from the light in the shadow calculation also to be sure that the object casting the, the shadow is between the surface and the light, not behind the light. But the sunlight is always further away from all the objects in the scene. And we don't need this test. This hit will be enough. And we don't test the distance. Now we got rid of the distance from the formula. And this is the direction of the point light that we calculated based on its location that we don't need anymore. If we look at the sunlight, when it doesn't have any rotation, its rays will point to the negative Z. So we kind of have this. A vector with minus one in the Z. Now when we rotate the light, that will rotate that vector. So we will use the object rotation to rotate this vector. We switch it to Euler rotation, we rotate this vector with the object rotation. And this is our new direction. Now we can see anything because it's pointing in the opposite direction we need. If you remember our dot product, we use direction to light, not from the light. Just give one instead of minus one. And here we can see that the sunlight is already working. Now 
now we need to match it power because this factor was we used for the point light isn't the same for the sunlight so let's give it the same intensity as in blender yeah, i think zero three is working zero point two five Now let's add a nice optimization. We we'll use a switch node for color and we will drive it with the is hit boolean. So if there is a hit, we take this color. If not, we give it a black color. Let's do white first. So yeah, when there is no hit just take this color so in other words if we didn't hit any object don't bother with the calculation of all those lights you can have it to black and now we have the advantage we can make it transparent and now we have the alpha channel baked in our path so kind of no need for this and i think that's why blender doesn't have it as a separate path what Blender have is if you check transparent for film, it will bake the alpha in every pass that needs it, which we can do quickly. Uh, we can add the Boolean input that we will use in switch node for color. So if it's transparent, we give the fully transparent color if it's not it's black and we output this as a background color and this is the color that goes here and we can do this for the other passes just switch this to color And we can bake our alpha in all our passes that needs it. Now I want to grab the diffuse to mix node and mix it with the teal color and call our depth pass that we need to activate. So we're loading the result we calculate in here and use it as a factor and here is our mist pass is does volumetric effect so now we have a camera a render engine and the compositor speaking of the mist pass switch the cycles We can match ours with cycles a little bit. So cycles have a start and a depth and they did a start and the end. We just need to add the start to the depth to get the near play. Now when I saw this, I thought I will deal with it, like the light fall off, but the map range node was like, I got you bro, I got you covered. So linear, let's match the numbers, 125, yeah, so the linear will be equivalent to this one and the four, four quadratic. I think smoother steps look exactly like it. And now this is a mist pass. For the depth, which is the Z pass, which cycle doesn't do in the viewport. If 
you look here at the values, it's having the hit distance in Blender unit, but when there is no hit, there is that big number, and I'm not gonna try to count how many zeros are there with my blurry eyes, so I will just put a big number. So, we have the hit distance, and we'll use a switch node. We take the hit distance, if it's true, and the big number. When it's false, and we use the hit boolean. So we can copy this. And this will be the missed pass now. Uh, I disconnected the hit distance going to the mist, sorry. So that's it for today. The next video we'll try to do specular highlight. And maybe basic simple tune shading. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.